Alrighty, Ito, the prime male Unga Bunga Oni Shonen main protagonist. The man who seems to be brutal can make his enemies tootle. But all that hype is futile, because if you search Ito on Google, the third picture is just a noodle! <laughs> Alright, before we get into Ito's elemental abilities, we're going to talk about his normal attack because that's a big part of his kit. So first of all, you can't cancel Ito's normal attack combo with sprint, jump, or his elemental skill. When Ito hits his enemies with his 2 hit and 4 hit normal attack, Ito will gain a stack. We'll call the stack, um, stamina stack. Ito can have a total of 5 stamina stacks. And with these stacks, Ito's charge attack slash each consumes 0 stamina. And these stack consuming charge attacks have their own name as well, but we're going to call them Aura Aura. And with his fifth and final slash, Ito does big damage. So this type of Claymore charge attacks are actually usable now, unlike these two. Elemental skill, we're going to call him Xiao. Why? Because Xiao's name is So in Korean, and So in Korean means cow. It also means small, which is probably the intention behind Xiao's name, but we're going to call him cow because it's funnier that way. If you're surprised by that, Shin Yan's name in Google Translate through Korean is Ephritis, so <laughs> yeah. Ito puts down literally the cutest animal in the game that does big geo AoE damage. When Xiao hits an enemy, he buffs his noodle arm friend so he can deal more damage. Xiao, by the way, is awesome. It taunts the enemies, and when it takes damage, it gives Ito the f**k stamina stack. Also, when the enemy quote-unquote kills Xiao, it gives Ito another stack, leaving him with even more perks. Also, Xiao hits hard. Elemental Burst Uga Booga Ito does a Jiraiya pose, then increases his attack speed and attack based on his defense. So the higher the defense, the higher the damage. His normal attacks are also converted to Geo damage. However, his elemental and physical resistance is decreased by 20%, which means f***ing nothing because of his defense stat. Also, unlike his female counterpart from Moss stat, if you switch him out, his Uga Booga mode turns off. So yeah. Noel's kind of bad. Alrighty, story time. So Inazuma has been a home for the Tengus, Kitsunes, and Onis for quite a long time. They all have very special traits, but the Onis, however, were mostly remembered for their explosive tempers and making trouble. But the other thing that they were special for is their fear for beans. But there's a scientific reasoning behind this fear. It's because Onis are allergic to beans. Their bloodline, however, have existed for a very long time, so most of them nowadays only display a minor reaction. But unlucky for Ito, his allergies are pretty severe. As long as he makes skin contact with a bean, Ito will find it hard to breathe and will get itchy all over his body. So his gang never eats bean related food due to their respect for Ito, and Ito's most disliked food is fried tofu. Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1. When Ito goes Aura Aura, he gains resistances to interruption, and each of his slashes increases his attack speed in the next slash by 10%. Passive 2. Ito's Aura Aura damage is increased by 35% of Ito's defense, effectively increasing your damage even further. Passive 3, you can get more wood. Yay? Moving on to Constellations. Constellation 1, when Ito goes Uga Booga, he gains more f stamina stacks. Constellation 2, when Ito goes Uga Booga, each Geo characters in the team will reduce his cooldown by 1.5 seconds and restore 6 energy to Ito. Nice! Constellation 3, Xiao does more damage. Constellation 4, when Ito's Uga Booga mode ends, all party members gain 20% defense and 20% attack for 10 seconds. Constellation 5, Ito's Uga Booga turns into Unga Bunga. Constellation 6, Ito's Aura Aura damage receives 70%, 70% crit damage, and he also has a 50% chance to not consume any of the f stamina stacks. Wow, I regret spending money on Black Friday now. Happy birthday to you! 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. Hey, yo, Ito Spin Fire! Moving on to artifacts. For beginners, two piece berserkers or two piece martial arts with a two piece defender set. For endgame, I can't think of anything that's more suitable than the. What the fuck is that? For endgame, I can't think of anything that's more suitable than the husk set. I mean, the design is pretty much screaming and begging you to put it on Ito. I tried the four piece gladiator set just in case, and the damage is somewhat decent, but nowhere close to the husk set, so I definitely recommend you to get the husk set instead of the gladiator set. And also, the gladiator set only includes the normal attack, not your charge attack, and charge attack is actually a very big part of Ito's kit, so I would not recommend the four piece gladiator set. If you currently don't have the four piece husk set ready for Ito, then I recommend to just use a two piece husk and wait out with either the gladiator set or even the two piece archaic set only if you have it. If don't, if you don't have these, then it doesn't it doesn't matter. Just just keep the two piece husk set. You'll be fine. For primary stats, you do want to go for defense stats, geo damage bonus for goblets, and then crit rates or crit damage depending on what you need more. For sub stats, basically the same thing. Prioritize crit rate, crit damage, defense, and then maybe ER because Ito's ER cost is seventy. And also Ito's a Essential stat is crit rate, so you might want to focus on crit damage more and just focus on crit rate for your substats. If you're tired, go ahead and call it a night. Hmm? Me? Oh, don't worry. Nah, I, I sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> Literally. Moving on to weapons, starting with five stars. Red Horn. Yeah, best weapon for Ito, Noel, and for some reason, no one mentions Nephritis. But this gives 88% crit damage and 40% defense, which will be converted into your attack. So even though base attack is bad, it won't matter because it will be good as soon as you press your burst. Wolf's Gravestone. It should be decent, but nowhere close to. Just nowhere close to Red Horn. Scoured Pride. This should be decent ish as well, since ER seems to be one of the minor issues when it comes to Ito and Goro, but the damage is probably on the lower side, even compared to the White Blind. We also have the Unforged. Can't tell you much here because I don't have it, but probably similar to Gravestone for Ito. But out of all of the five star weapons, Red Horn probably cucks all of them. Moving on to four stars Blackcliff. Decent crit damage, decent ability, should be decent. Credit card. This is probably one of my go to options for Ito because the ability is really great, and the extra crit rate might be nice if you really don't have enough. But with this weapon, you should have around 50% crit rate by default, because Ito's essential stat, again, is crit rate. It gives you 24.1% crit rate, or something, I don't know, something similar to that. So for the burst damage bonus weapons like Tuna Fish and Akomaru, they do not affect Ito's burst like Dryden, because this is more like a buff than a state. So these two weapons wouldn't be too optimal for Ito. Energy recharge weapons like Favonius, Sacrificial, are also on the unnecessary side, I think mainly because if you're using Ito, you're most likely going to use a mono geo team or triple geo team, so your energy efficiency should be pretty decent. And elemental mastery can uh, go f themselves, which leaves us with the free to play weapons prototype, white blind, Inazuma weapon, and then snow tombed. I think the option here is very clear just cross these three out, and the white blind should be your most optimal free to play claymore for Ito due to the damage stacking ability and defense primary stats. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> My man doesn't give a shit. Now for teams. So Ito doesn't necessarily need to be in a mono geo team, but due to the fact that Goro buffs him incredibly with the mono geo team, you would naturally go for the mono geo team. Also, if you have a C2, mono geo should be better. But if you don't, most likely you'll only use three geo units max, because that still works with Goro. You would probably want to fill the last spot with a damage buffer like Bennett, Mona, Sara, whatever you prefer, most likely Bennett, because they would also help with crystallize and let Goro collect it for you, which is also very handy. But which Geo units do you use? Well, Ito and Goro are no-brainer option here, so we have one or two of these spots. And our options are Albedo, Zhongli, Ningguang, Noel, then lastly, Geo Traveler. We also will have Yunjin in the future, but she's not out yet, so I don't know what she does. Most optimally would be Albedo and Noel, because both of these units take advantage of defense like Ito, but if you're the type of person who doesn't want to use Noel, then Zhongli 
Ning Guang, and Traveler should be your option. Personally, I'm not going to use Zhongli in this team because I'm planning to use him for the other Mono Geo team I'm going to use later in the future after 2.4, so go check me out on Twitch, follow me there. Ning Guang will give you a lot of Geo Particles and can be a burst damage support, while Traveler can be a battery slash crit rate increased option for your team. So choose based on what you need the most, or just put Zhongli in there and go Unga Bunga like you were planning to. So how the f do you play Ito? Since Ito's abilities are based on the Uga Booga Aura Aura normal attack abilities, you do want to take advantage of his stamina stacks because it helps you be very stamina efficient. So naturally, you would want to make sure to grab as much stacks as you can. So tip number one, unfortunately, you can't cancel your autos to gain your stacks as much as possible. So you do want to take advantage from Xiao, your cow pet to give you a few stacks. So try to place Xiao in as much as you can because he gives you a stack when you place him, when he gets hit and when he dies. Then all you have to do is just use your auto attack combo to gain the rest of the two stamina stacks, then go aura aura and repeat the process. And also, I know you guys might be wondering how many stacks you have. You can tell the number of stacks based on the number of lights on your back. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Tip number two, since Ito is a selfish DPS due to the fact that his burst leaves when you switch out, you do want to place every ability before activating his burst. But I would place Xiao on the field beforehand, then use your team's ability so you can gain your stacks while you're switching. Tip number three, remember shields are pretty important for Geo Resonance, and as much as I hate crystallized shields, they do kind of matter. So do that or just put Zhongli. But that is it for the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, follow me on Twitch, I'm probably gonna draw good stuff. Also follow me on Twitter, I'm probably gonna upload good stuff. And no, I didn't copy this from Bennett's video. Have a good day, guys. Good luck on your summons. Bye-bye.